All right, here we're going to do another example of finding a particular solution. So here we have dy over uh, dx equals e to the 4x minus y. y of 0 equals 5. We want to find a particular solution. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, break this equation up. I'm going to make this e to the 4x times e to the negative y. So again, we can break up e to the 4x minus y just like that. Um, so dy over dx, I'm going to rewrite this as e to the 4x over e to the y. And now I'm just going to cross multiply. So we'll have e to the y dy equals e to the 4x times dx. Now we're going to integrate both sides. So the antiderivative of e to the y, um, that's just going to be, well, e to the y. The antiderivative of e to the 4x will be e to the 4x over 4. Again, to integrate this, we would just do a u substitution. Let u equal 4x. du would be 4dx. You can divide by the 4, so you'd have 1 fourth du equals dx. So that's where the 1 fourth is coming from, just to remind you. And then we have our plus c value. Okay, at this point, um, we, can always, uh, we can always solve for y by taking the natural logarithm of both sides. So if we take the natural logarithm of the left side, uh, we can take the natural logarithm of the right side as well. And we don't even have to do this at this point. If we wanted to, we could have immediately, uh, we could have already solved for our constant c. Um, either way is fine. So on the left side, we'll be left with y. On the right side, we'll still have the natural logarithm of e to the 4x over 4 plus c. Here's where I'll solve for the c value, though. So again, we could have done it, um, you certainly could have done it before we took the natural logarithm. It probably would have actually been a little bit, a little bit more simple then. I think we could have saved a step. We'll see what happens. Either way is okay. So again, y of 0 equals 5. So that's our x value, that's our y value. So on the left side, uh, we'll plug in 5. We'll have the natural logarithm. Yeah, I think it definitely would be easier. We would have e to the 0 over 4 plus c when we plug in x equals 0. e to the 0 is 1, so we'll have the natural logarithm of 1 fourth uh, plus c. Well, to solve for c, we can exponentiate both sides. So if we raise both sides, or take e and raise both sides, so we'll have e to the fifth equals e to the natural logarithm. Will those cancel? We'll have one-fourth plus c. So our c value will be e to the fifth minus one-fourth. Let's see what would happen uh, if we had done it, uh, if we had just left it alone. So if we had just left it alone, uh, before we took the natural logarithm. Notice if we used our initial condition there, uh, just to point out, notice if you did plug in uh, y equals 5, we would get e to the 5th. Again, we would get e to the 4 times 0, which would be 1, plus c. So if we plugged in the initial condition immediately, we would end up getting the exact same thing after we solve for c. So again, either way is perfectly okay. Uh, probably the you know, before we took the natural logarithm, we could have saved a step, but again, whatever. Uh, so now all I'm going to do is plug it back in. So it says our particular solution will be the natural logarithm of e to the 4x over 4 plus c. We'll see is e to the 5th minus 1 fourth. And now we have our particular solution.